Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B, and uh, we shall be reflecting on the theme of mission and our response to mission. Last Sunday, we read about how Jesus was rejected in his own hometown, Nazareth, and how this rejection almost seemed like a failed mission. Today's gospel picks up from that point and tells us, look, for Jesus, rejection never equals failure. In fact, for him, it was a push to do more for God. And so he calls the 12 to himself today and tells them to join him in his mission. Dear friends in Christ, by virtue of our baptism, Christ calls each and every one of us to also participate in this mission. Hence, I ask all of you, are you ready to participate in the mission of Christ? Are we ready to live our lives according to the precepts of the gospel, to be that message of the gospel in our broken world that is in need of salvation? Again, I ask you, what might be your excuse for not participating in this mission? For some of us, we might say, yes, we are weak, or we might even say we are not perfect enough for God. But who is perfect anyway? In the first reading, we have Amos telling us that, look, God picked him from being an ordinary shepherd to be a prophet, to prophesy to his people, Israel. In the gospel reading, the 12 that Christ calls today, they weren't perfect anyway. Remember in the gospel of Mark chapter 4, these were the same people who would not understand the parables of Jesus. And at the end of the chapter, Jesus quoted them for their lack of faith. Again, in the gospel of Mark chapter 5, we recall how these were the same 12 who were asking Jesus, why would you be asking who touched you in this crowd when the woman who suffered hemorrhage touched him? You can see they weren't perfect at all, yet Christ calls them together to himself and entrusts the mission to them. Brothers and sisters, we all are worthy instruments in the hands of God. And so St. Paul tells us in the second reading, he says, all of us, we have been chosen and called by God before the foundation of the world for the purpose of His will, for the purpose of mission. Are you ready to take up this mission? If you are ready, then Jesus gives us tips on how to proceed in this mission. First, He says, look, in this journey of mission, you have to go with nothing. Dear friends, we do not need fancy equipment to preach just a simple message. We only need the quality of our lives. We only need to be that gospel that everyone will read out there. And that is what St. Francis teaches us. Preach more by your life. Where necessary, you can preach by your words. If Jesus could say to these people of his time, not go with anything, I wonder what he would say to us. Perhaps he would say, look, don't go with your iPhone 13 Pro Max. Don't go with laptops. Don't go with a fleet of cars. Anyway, these are the things that distract us from the mission. Jesus teaches us detachment. We are all like athletes running for a competition. The more load you carry, the less likely you win the competition. The less load you carry, the more likely you win the competition. Brothers and sisters, detachment for the sake of this mission. Secondly, Jesus tells us that yes, in this mission, we would be rejected. After all, he was rejected last week. And when it happens that we suffer rejection, we can simply bow out. The essence of this mission is not entirely success, but a faithful proclamation. Saint Teresa of Calcutta tells us, God has not called us to be successful. He has only called us to be faithful. Hence, our aim should be a faithful proclamation of the gospel and not entirely whether it yields success or not. God judges the success of our actions. Brothers and sisters, when the twelve heard all these instructions, they set out and embraced the mission. You have heard all of all this. Are you ready to embrace the mission? If you are, I am, then let us begin. Let's go out into the world and preach the gospel of Christ in our broken world that needs salvation. May God help us all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you all.